Welcome back to another game design shorts and today we're gonna do hit animation outside the instance and this should be uh, not a too difficult one so basically what you can have is a default hit animation with a sprite which is just running down and boom this is where it goes and of course we can actually do that with a specific attack which could be from the outside coming so it could be a poison attack which you're seeing right now a slash attack a electric attack something which is a bound of the attack which is incoming and then on the player the enemy whatever you like but of course you can actually swap it around and just say like hey no this should be in more or less an internal thing what do I mean by that let's say you have a zombie then he's spraying some green blood and this is the way it goes and then therefore if you have a robot then he's just uh, i don't know having some oil being leaked and some parts are flying of it if you hit it so this is one thing and of course a more common practice is actually doing this dude here which is with particles and they have three things in common a lot of games for example for hit effects do those lines which are just dotting out and then the quick rapid ring coming from it and then boom you create a pretty sweet vanilla way of making hit animation with particles which are very efficient so this are, these are not sprites in quotation these are more particles which you can spam in the hundreds if you want and of course what you can actually do is have a hybrid if you like so a sprite with um, i don't know with some particles or what a lot of games do have a default hit animation and then additionally on top create i don't know a, a kind of a elemental type attack so basically if it's just a blunt a, a slash attack a magic attack then they mix and match those things and this is how a lot of video games do so just to conclude this video there are different ways to, uh, how to to get to where you want to do and these will most definitely make the experience of hit animation so what you're seeing in front of you just distorting the player this is part, video part one so if you want to watch this on the top right corner uh, hopefully it will <laughs> pop up and then you can check it out if you like if you haven't and then of course the outside also which in combination make a really beautiful effect which is just a good common practice and standard in video games and a little disclaimer from my side the second follow-up video will be about how to do that uh, well the first two ones which with a sprite which is kind of easy to do so where to get the resource and of course then a little bit longer how to do that with particles in game maker and then this is quite specific a little bit longer to do but hey um, this is the way it goes because preparation of that stuff just takes a little bit more time and little thing for my patrons uh the project will be for free because i'm just building um effect catalog because i want to do that game maker still doesn't have that oh bad 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 and therefore uh, i will just share that with my guys over there Alrighty, that was it from my side have a good one one up indie